Hello YouTube. Today has been a good day. I connected and mounted the stepper motors and um, really impressed with the speed of the y-axis. Take a look at this. <laughs> Perhaps hard to see on the computer, but uh, it moves crazy fast in my opinion. The x-axis uh, doesn't run as fast. If I try to raise the speed up more than this, it will skip steps. And I believe that uh, it's because of these uh, unsupported rods that uh, gets a bit bent like this. Uh, from the weight of the spindle as you can see I mounted these types of uh, I believe they're called cable drag chains or something like that and these were really super um, they are really large you can see the measurements here 25 times 57 millimeters and I believe that that's inside so that is that is good and it's also really easy to to open them we just do like this the cable drag chain is that why included with the frame look like this they don't really house too much space for cables Perhaps they will they will do for these types of cables that were included with the frame. To mount these ones I I simply took some some stainless uh, steel I had and made an angle here and an angle down there and mounted it uh, uh, on the other side of this uh, aluminium block that houses the linear ball bearings and I do the same thing down here simply piece of bent stainless steel and that seems to work really good uh, once weren't too expensive either I, pay, I think I paid um, tw 25 bucks each for them roughly so that's uh, well spent money in my opinion nice to to get the things uh, as easy as they can be. I also test mounted um, these type of hoses or I believe they're called hoses and um, as I showed you in the earlier video I purchased uh, both this type of pneumatic hose that I believe fits perfect on this type of connector. However, these ones aren't really as flexible as the PVC hose. Um, so I decided to go with the P PVC version. Uh, the specs of this hose is uh, it's five millimeters inside and eight millimeters on the outside and this pneumatic hose that should f fit great as well is six millimeters on the inside and eight millimeters on the outside and as you can see the hose stops here I just bought uh, two short pieces to see uh, which one I should go for um, yeah, I also received the uh, I also received the the radiator that I'm going to use. Been waiting for that one for a while now. Didn't uh, think it would turn up, up but uh, it did. So this is one I will use. Um, We'll see, I will take the temperature to see if it's needed to, to fit uh, with uh, fans, but uh, hopefully it, it will work out just uh, 
passive uh, without fans and yeah I'm not uh, fully complete with wiring yet since uh, last weekend I thought that it will be a good idea to save some money and use these type of thin wires for the end stop switches uh, but uh, after a close look on them I decided actually to wait um, uh, to next weekend to fix that um, and buy decent bit more decent uh, cables and I also received some new stuff for the garage and uh, some animals that I ordered these were crazy expensive in my home country can't believe that uh, they can be so expensive here when they are so cheap in China I don't know why but uh, think I don't think I will get one for the price of five in China in my own country so that's a bit sad but uh, anyways now they are here I went with uh, two flute um, on most of them three millimeters four millimeters I think I will use uh, three and four millimeters most but I bought two six millimeters as well and um, five six millimeters uh, in high speed steel I think that were way cheap and then I bought some um, three fluters and don't really think that Perhaps this one might come to use, but this one is it's most likely too large for the 6040, as well as this one. This is a two fluter, but uh, it might be fun to to try these one. These ones uh, large out as well it will be even if the milling won't be too good. It's interesting to see and it will will I think it will make some good videos then I bought some uh, measurement devices we can start off with this one for leveling the table or the router I use just a regular one when I did it and as we can see here yeah, this one is way too more this one is way more sensitive but uh, don't really look too bad actually this one was a bit ah, it's almost none I'm moving, moving it but uh, anyways might be good to have I will have to mount the table to the wall because it's moving a bit I noticed I will also have to buy some adjustable feet for for the table to to make the leveling a bit easier and then I bought uh, this one uh, that I think will come to great use this was um, optional with this one this was like 12 bucks and it can be mounted in the ER collet to make the spindle trimming bit or tramming a bit easier why is it called tramming I haven't heard that word before anyways some ER16 collets there were only one included with the spindle and I had to buy this one as well this one was on sale a Miura um, and this 
might be a bit overkill for this router but uh, might be good to have anyways um, it came like like this but in plastic and I mounted these green plastic clips on here as well as this one and yeah I actually expected it to to come in a better case than this this doesn't look too impressive actually we'd appreciate if if it would have come in something like this or at least something like this but uh, yeah perhaps um, um, this was an version that was on sale was without the box I don't know but uh, it was about eighty eighty dollars so I thought that it was a good deal okay that's pretty much it for now I also decided to move the intro from my video since it doesn't really add any value and it only takes up your time so hope that's okay with all of you you are very welcome to subscribe and like and comment and um, see you guys again soon thank you for watching